Hey, I'm Ramon Ray, founder of Smart Hustle Magazine, and we are at Sweet World 2019 in Las Vegas, Nevada. I always want to say sometimes Las Vegas, uh, California, but it is Nevada. So, uh, Rob, thanks for being with us today, and why don't you tell us a little bit about your role at the American Counter Society yeah, yeah. and uh, why that's so important to you. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, Rob King, the Chief Financial Officer at the American Counter Society, okay. um, and here at, at Sweet World. Um, we just launched uh, NetSuite about a month ago. Congratulations. Excited about that You're a newbie. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we are. Okay, good. And then let's talk about the American Camp Society's role. We all know the, uh, the travail, or should we call it the... Um, the sadness sure. of a cancer, as you said on stage today with mm -hmm. uh, Evan, I think it was. Yeah, it's t it touches all of us. It does. But why don't you talk about that from your your perspective, being an American Cancer Society? Uh, what's the mission about? Why that's so important? And how is it harming? You know, how is it devastating Americans? Yeah, absolutely. So cancer touches everybody. Yeah. Um, and and the good news and the bad news is we know a lot about cancer now. Yes. Um, and so at the society, we are we are attacking cancer from all angles, mm -hmm. um, and and really comprehensive across the whole cancer spectrum. Um, focused on research um, since 1946, we've we funded over 4.8 million dollars in research, um, and that will continue to be a foundation. Uh, but you're going to see us. Um, moving even closer to the patient and some of that work. Um, so our research right now is, is you, could, you could say it's, it's investing in future um, solutions. Yes. Um, and so you're going to see us start to invest in today's solutions through an impact mm -hmm. fund, for example. Um, we, and and that, that's really aimed at, at really trying to get at the answers we still need, uh, yes. answers we still have questions around. Um, prevention, early detection, another big focus of ours mm -hmm. because there are things that we know if you, if you just do them, so right. this is beyond the research side Absolutely. to cure it. This is getting people, we already know this. Yeah, so this, this is how you can reduce the impact. Yeah, so okay. it's, really, it's really putting a lot of that research into action. Mm -hmm. um, so things like uh, colorectal screening mm -hmm. um, or HPV vaccinations, mm -hmm. um, we know they, they prevent cancer. Um, and so a, a big part of our work is, is working with, with individuals and health systems trying to drive that. Yeah. Um, another big focus of ours is public policy and advocacy. Um, at the federal, state, and local level, we have a sister organization, the ACS Cancer Action Network, mm -hmm. um, that's driving uh, federal funding of research, for example, um, and driving policy mm -hmm. that really keeps cancer patients uh, mm -hmm. at the forefront. Smoke-free uh, air loss. Yes. Um, all those important things, that's, that's the American Cancer mm -hmm. Study at work. Um, and then the, the, the fourth big pillar is all around patient services. Yes. Um, and so with, with an eye toward Getting, getting folks access to the care they need. So lodging, uh, we have a lodging program mm -hmm. that allows cancer patients to stay free of charge, right. Hope Lodge. Transportation, we have a road to recovery program mm -hmm. um, that through we volunteer that network, today. yeah, yeah, um, that, that helps patients get access to yeah. treatment. But yeah. Because as, as your point, um, you know, cancer is, it can be devastating and, it, and it's just so much more than the diagnosis. Today, during the discussion that you're talking, Rob, we heard the story, and again, this is one of zillions of stories. We yeah. heard the story of a lady, I forgot her name, you may remember, brought to the stage and she was saying how the road to recovery, right? Road, road, road to recovery, recovery yeah, yeah. was so beneficial. Talk about that a bit as one anecdote, maybe, yeah. of the great work you're doing, whether her case was an example, uh, because you don't think about, you know, we hear cure and research and all this, but I was thinking, huh, yeah. that's right, if I'm sick, if I'm yeah. hurting, if, forget if they're affording it, I don't yeah. feel like driving, or she mentioned it a couple Hours on a bus, or whatever it was. Yeah. Why is that so yeah. important? So her name is Kathy, yeah. okay. um, and she was diagnosed with CML mm -hmm. um, about uh, five or six years ago, I believe. Um, and and um, she's blind now mm -hmm. as a result of that disease. And she was she and she lives alone. Yeah. And so she was faced with um, dealing with chemotherapy. Yeah. And and how do I get to treatment? And you feel very jacked up. And I've never gone through it, but from what I understand, yeah, that's it, a it, jacked up procedure. Yeah, it you makes feel you really, really terrible. Yeah. yeah. And uh, fortunately, she was able to get connected uh, to the American Cancer mm -hmm. Society, and she participates participates in our Road to Recovery program. In fact, yesterday, she uh, she was uh, she had a ride yeah. to uh, she had some blood work done. Yes, yes. And yeah, so it's all part of of, of getting her that life saving mm -hmm. uh, treatment that she needs. Absolutely. So, uh, Rob, what's your message to nonprofits who are much smaller than the American mm -hmm. Cancer Society? But any suggestion for them as they're battling the attention for their causes? Sure. As you're battling, you know, even though you're much larger, you're still battling of fighting course. for your, and all causes are important. Yeah. What's your message to them? How can they do that? What should they be doing right to maybe try to get some more attention for their important causes? Sure. Um, so two two big messages, um, and this is from the perspective of a large legacy yes. charity, mm -hmm. right? Um, one is all about data. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So we're coming from a place where we had systems um, that were built for a very different organization. Yeah. 
Um, and so our ability to access data and, and connect with customers was challenging. Um, and so that's part of the transformation we've been through, um, part of the, the suite of, of systems that we've implemented. So that's, that's one big lesson is nimble systems, always looking forward. Um, and the other one is really around the idea of continuing to innovate. Mm. Um, you know, we're, we're a large organization and uh, we, we were the only game in town 30 years ago. Yeah. Um, and so organizations like that can have a tendency to hang on to things, right? Something that worked 30 years ago, um, we're just gonna make it work. Yeah. Um, and so this idea of innovating and, and always remembering that a, a, a great idea is probably not a great idea forever. Mm. So Rob, you have a mission that's very important, helping people all across the world in essence, exponentially, global but, uh, there, yeah. but mainly America. But let's talk about the role that NetSuite plays. I mean, you're a company that's helping people uh, that's dealing with cancer. Yep. Why are you at a tech conference? It's yeah. all like geeks and talking about yeah. AI and BI and yeah. this eye and that eye. Mm -hmm. What does that have to do with your mission? Well, we're a business okay. and we have to uh, we have to run the business, yeah. right? And so there's the, the, the usual managing your revenue, managing your expenses. Um, but it's, it's all about how do you have the right visibility um, in order for us to be able to tell our story. Um, and, and so we've got to be able to demonstrate to donors that we're being good stewards mm -hmm. of their dollars, right? And that we're spending in ways that they expect us to spend. Right. Um, and that we're also being able to, we're, we're also able to demonstrate impact. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, we, we need, we need uh, smart technology to allow us to do that. And, and our customers are really smart and they expect that, right? And they also- Accountability to them too. Absolutely, absolutely. So that's, that's all part of it, yeah. Yeah, love it. Listen, Rob, one more time, give us your full name and the company you're with. Yeah, Rob King with the American Cancer Society.